God save a gracious queen. Long li no, I won't. I won't uh, uh, force uh, viewers to uh, listen to too much singing, but it is uh, the big day, the big kickoff of the Queen's 70th uh, Platinum Jubilee today. And uh, what scenes of pageantry we had in London this morning and uh, unbelievable. Uh, nobody does pageantry like the Brits or even a uh, old curmudgeonly Canadian like you uh, uh, can admit that. So our Amanda Brown has got a wrap up on the website already on What's happening across Alberta? There's things happening all over the province uh, in celebration this weekend uh, of the Queen's uh, Platinum Jubilee. So check it out and uh, maybe indulge in a celebration or two. Uh, other stuff we've got on the website right now is those uh, oh, those wacky guys from PETA. Uh, they've written a letter to Kevin Costner saying, hey, please don't come to the Stampede as, as Parade Marshal because Stampede does nasty things to animals. Well, it's uh, utterly ridiculous. Uh, uh, nobody looks after their livestock better than uh, than the Stampede. We've got a really good column from Dave Makachuk on the site right now. Uh, there was reports yesterday that uh, Chinese uh, fighter pilots were buzzing our one lone Canadian uh, uh, aircraft out uh, patrolling around uh, North Korean waters. And uh, uh, Makachuk's column basically talks about the sad demise of uh, Canada's standing in the in the international world. Uh, we're no longer sort of considered a, uh, you know, to be invited to the table. It's 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 the Brits, it's the Australians, and it's uh, it's the Americans, and uh, nobody wants Canada on their team. So it's a very good and very very sad read. Uh, our Matthew Horwood in Ottawa has done a story on uh, Bill Garneau. You'll remember him as the uh, I guess disgraced former uh, uh, federal finance minister after the Wee scandal. He had a speech last night saying he's kind of worried about the direction that uh, that uh, Canada is going uh, financially. So, so that's very interesting. And uh, Pierre Polyev tabled a private member's bill, uh, sort of asking for all the uh, the vaccine mandates on travelers to be uh, withdrawn. Uh, sadly, Corey, you know what happens to uh, most private members' bills? They get uh, they get absolutely uh, nowhere. And our Mike Thomas has got the May uh, MLS report on Calgary home sales. Uh, cooling a little bit, but still uh, still throbbing along nicely. So so that's what we've got up at the moment. Uh, our glorious leader, Prime Minister Trudeau, is at this moment on the Sik Sika lands, uh, handing out a billion dollars or more uh, to settle a land claim uh, there. Uh, so our Amanda Brown is uh, is covering that, and we'll have that up on the website uh, shortly too, Corey. Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny you, you bring that up. I, I have a, a poster I've had since I was a kid in Banff, that was from Banff Indian Days, which used to be held, some people might remember, way back. It was a tradition for, for decades and decades. And 1977 was the very last one that was ever held. And this protest, or protest poster, uh, depicted an image of, of Queen Victoria and Chief uh, Crowfoot, you know, the original signing of Treaty 7 and the whole works. And, and either way, it was a celebration of the, the monarchy and the agreement at that time. Uh, now, you know, we've, we've got Trudeau just on his chronic apology tour but uh, getting on to that, I'm just wondering, has there been any acknowledgement of the Queen's Jubilee by uh, Justin Trudeau? Has he even taken notice of this? No, not really. In, in fact, he, his government has, has turned down the opportunity to hand out uh, Platinum Jubilee medals to, to deserving people. Uh, a few provinces have gone ahead and done their own, but uh, Trudeau uh, nationally uh, turned it down. So I guess you can tell where his mind is. Yeah, well, unity, pride, and uh, outside authorities aren't things that he likes much in this nation, I'm afraid. No, and if you don't mind, I'm uh, going to be sneaking out early, go get some Swiss chalet. Okay, perfect. Well, that's covering two observances with one stone. Now, that's efficiency if I've ever seen it. There you go. That's why I get the big bucks. Right on. Thanks, Dave. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, Corey.